hi, my name is Jay and I have a confession to make. I am obsessed with buying notebooks and journals. Yes, in the grand scheme of things, this isn't really the biggest problem in the entire world, but let's cut to a shot of all of the notebooks and journals I have accumulated over the last couple years. Okay, here's a little reality check for myself. I usually finish about one to two notebooks per year, three or four if it's a good year, but most of the time not really. So by taking a look through all of these, I am good for probably the next 10 years of my life. And yet, I still end up buying at least one or five notebooks <laughs> every year, which is just not okay. You're trying to save money. You're trying to save money. Stop spending money on gorgeous, beautiful notebooks. Ugh. So today marks my last day. I'm not going to buy any notebooks or journals. Let's see how long this will take. I'll let you know at some point. It doesn't count if someone like buys me a notebook or journal or gives it like as a present, but like I personally cannot shell out my own money to add to this growing collection. So for today's video, I just wanted to share all of my notebooks and journals because they are so pretty. I have two like separate piles, uh, journals and notebooks. My journals are the ones that I usually try to write in at least every day and those are kind of just like a diary, you know? things that are happening in my life. And then my notebooks are my writer's notebooks where I write all of my stories and all of my ideas and blah 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 blah. For all of those journal and notebook lovers out there, this will be like porn for all of y'all. I know it. Let's get on to the journals first! I have three of these uh, Twilight notebooks. I have the Eclipse one, that's not Eclipse, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Um, this I bought during my Twilight phase. Next. I have these Disney notebooks. Oh my gosh! And I bought this because it was on sale and it came in like a pack of five. I'm currently using one of them right now. But one of them is Pocahontas and I rarely get to see Pocahontas in, Pocahontas in any Disney merchandising so obviously I had to get it. These next four notebooks I bought at the Highline when I was in New York and these were super pricey but they were also very gorgeous and I needed a souvenir from New York. So obviously I had to get these. Obviously! I have these two journals that I bought at Marshalls and they are like, not organic, but like recycled. Yes. Next I have this little peacock journal and the thing that drew me to it was that it was on sale. Most of these are on sale, but it feels very soft. Take a look at the super gorgeous Mother Gothel uh, journal from the Disney store and it is from their like special like designer villains collection. This journal has one of my favorite quotes in the entire world. Uh, it says, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Next is a notebook I got as a souvenir from when I went to Yosemite and it just says Yosemite Falls on it. This again I got because it was on sale, the Mortal Instruments notebook. I didn't have any mortal instruments like memorabilia from when the movie came out and this was on sale and obviously I needed to get it because I gotta support Cassie. The next journal I got uh, because it's my favorite movie in the entire world. Take a guess! The Wizard of Oz! This is my current favorite one right now because I recently bought it and eee! Now this last journal my cousin got me years ago for either Christmas or my birthday and I love it so much and it is this leather bound journal she got at Barnes and Noble and I am obsessed with these. Okay so those were all of my journals slash diaries and now let's move on to my writing notebooks. This adorable notebook that uh, my dad gave to me and it is this leather bound book as well. It doesn't have any lines unfortunately but that's okay because it's so cute. This is a notebook that my old best friend gave to me in middle school and it is this and what I love the most about it is that it is made from elephant poo. These next three notebooks are from Molly and Rex and they are currently my favorite manufacturers, creators of stationery right now because all of those things that they create are so pretty. Uh, I have here, it says imagine. I have another one that says live in the moment. And then the last one I have here says believe in your own magic. And what I love about this 
is that all of the pages inside are like pretty and colorful. These I got as like a set. The first one here it says write in write it in your heart that every day is the best day in the year. And then I have another one that just has like dandelions on it. And then it's, this one says a smart person knows what to say. A wise person knows whether or not to say it. Next I have here it says the best of life is at the table. And this one says, write more happiness into the world. Again, I got these next three notebooks as a set, I believe, at Barnes & Noble. The first one here says, the best is yet to come. And then this one says, rise and shine and make today great. This next one I got as a gift from the Philippines and it is just this little, it says, back to nature book. Again, this is from recycled paper. This next one I got when I was in New York and it is a Barbie notebook. Uh, I love Barbies. I've always been obsessed with them and I just needed to get this one. So I got these two. Uh, I bought these at Marshalls actually but you can find these in a lot of like small stores. I think they have it at Papyrus as well. Next I have these two from, I think I bought them at Staples. Again they're from recycled paper and I probably had these since like middle school or high school. Next, I bought this at Marshalls and it has the New York skyline and that's the only reason why I got it. These next two notebooks I bought as a set from Barnes & Noble and this one says, Show me a day when the world wasn't new. And then this one says, Deep in their roots, all flowers keep the light. This next notebook I got as a gift from my cousin. Again, she understands my obsession uh, with notebooks and journals because she is equally as obsessed as I am. It's just this super, super pretty... And the last notebook I have, what? We're done, what? I bought this at Marshalls and I love it because it just looks very professional. And it says dreams and schemes and it's the color blue, which is my favorite color. All right, everyone, so those were all of my notebooks and journals. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below if you are as equally obsessed as I am or if you are obsessed about something else which you can't even explain. All right, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you another time. Goodbye! I have an issue, but all of these things make me so happy. Like, everything's on my desk right now, and I am ecstatic. I just love looking at them.